Hey guys, this is Maggie from Rock Paper Copy and you can find us on www.rockpapercopy.com We can help you with search engine optimization, website optimization and social media marketing. And in this video I'm going to review a, a website called um, Axaria Closet and I'm on the home page. I really love the colors. I really love the images I can see right away that you're selling a clothing for women in certain Styles so obviously quite for for um, for young women very attractive clothing I love the different styles summer clothes summer dresses rompers and so on and I really love the logo um, the images transist too quickly and the good rule for a transition time for the sliding images in seven sec is seven seconds. So make sure to remember about it. Also, some of the images um, sort of have the titles and the calls to action or all of them. Okay, this for example links to the tops, although there was a dress. This links to the tops, okay, because this is the top, and this links to the. I'm not sure it didn't show. Okay, let's see. It uh, it links to the homepage, so make sure that all the images are linked to the relevant collections of products. Uh, some of them are linked to the relevant collections, some of them not. Some of them are linked to to homepage, so make sure that um, you keep an eye on that. Um, also, the menu is right here, and I love that. It would be great to put a link to the shop at the very top, and the blog. It it won't help you with your conversion. It's like the secondary content doesn't have to have the um, prime top position. So it would be great to have this shop link at the very top, uh, right under the menu. You've got also styling services, wedding services, although you don't strike as a wedding site. So make sure to have to focus uh, because if you want to go towards wedding services, it would be great to open a separate website for that because obviously people want to have a very unique experience, especially crafted, especially tailored for this special time of, um, of their life. So... Um, it is a good idea to go for, but don't merge two to, to websites or two ideas together. Okay, Instagram feed underneath. I love that. love the clothing. No, it's not Instagram feed. Can you see that um, those two images are identical? Stylist pics. Um, make sure that all the images are um, different to give, um, to give more variety. This says under 300, but it links to the collection called under 100. Stylist picks um, links to featured products. Skirts is fine. Um, bottoms is pant sets, okay, tops, summer collections. So summer collection dresses not not necessarily the same, so make sure to stay consistent with your titles and with your links and so on. And Gmail. Um, I'd rather see a professional email address. You can get it from G, G Suite or you can get it from your domain name registrar. Um, so it would be great to have something like sales at Axaria axariascloset.com and then hyperlink it for um, one click contact contact either it um, it changes the color on the hover it's not hyperlinked yet and I love that you have got a secondary navigation in your foot I'm going to check the content first so this is about us paid I would definitely love to see more content here um, so ideally have about 500 uh, 500 words on each page um, it is best for Google it is best for building trust as well so add uh, add more about your brand add a photo of yourself if that's you that's fantastic but it would be great to have a photo of your team and obviously make this page SEO friendly um, we've got very friend very helpful tutorial on our website how to make 
Shopify pages, SEO friendly, under learn, um, click on video tutorials and you can see that the first one here in the first row how to completely SEO your Shopify pages. You can order it for only $2.99 on our website. So I'm going to continue reviewing your website. Um, shipment policy and that looks great you've got 90 days return policy although this is shipment paid you inform people about your returns so yeah if this is a returns page make sure that the title is relevant and say it refund policy or returns policy uh, contact us page again as I mentioned the uh, professional email address use the contact form or the message form simply use the standard contact page from the Shopify template to generate the contact form automatically privacy policy I'm not going to check because it's standard as I mentioned shipment policy is return policy in your case so make sure to have a delivery policy as well with your delivery rates and information whether you shop uh, whether you ship internationally or only within your country which I assume is uh, is USA okay now I'm going to check the collection pages and product page and what did I pick? I, um, I clicked on tops. The image is a little bit blurry. It would be great to use very good quality image. It's a little bit too big. It takes a lot of space. I have to, I have to click, I have to, um, I have to sort of go down the page just to see the same image again here. It's a lot of work and I see the same uh, product which is a little bit funny and I'm going to go to the bottoms page again I'll definitely I'll definitely get rid of those lengthy images people don't want to scroll down um, make sure judges judges get rid of them there's no need to have this kind of image it doesn't really add anything to your conversion especially that it's a bit blurry because it's not it's not very high res image if you want to have an image, definitely have it in like style, very, um, very horizontal, very narrow strip of the image, like a, like a cropped, cropped part. But make sure that all the images, all the products are visible above, um, above the fold line. Um, again, the bottoms. You have a variety of different products, including bottoms and. This is a dress, which shouldn't really be in this collection. But okay, I'm going to click on the product page and it looks great. You've got add to cart above the fold, which is fantastic. The product description seems to be cut off in the middle of the sentence. So I'm not sure how it's supposed to work, although the, the images are also cropped. Uh, halfway because those icons looks like they are yeah they're not visible in total so there's few like little elements that definitely do need attention but they might affect your conversion rate because it might affect the trust uh, that people have in your store uh, if they think you don't pay attention to these details you might not pay attention to bigger details like their order or their payment or their security when it comes to the um, credit card numbers and so on. Um, okay, I'm going to check the blog as well. The last blog post is from September. It would be great to blog regularly, which by I mean um, at least once once a week maybe once every two weeks it's great to keep your store updated which is very good for SEO and also for building trust people want to know that you are keeping up to date with your website and so on if you are displaying Twitter uh, feed make sure to tweet regularly and not just post links so if you don't um, if you don't do it it just looks a little bit messy um, if you don't tweet regularly consider removing this Twitter feed from this page and um, otherwise than that it's um, yeah everything is um, 
it's kind of okay it just needs a little bit more a little bit more attention and SEO I have um, um, I have analyzed your SEO score you've got 58 out of 100 which is not bad your meta title I'm not sure if, if it could be any worse women's clothing it is as general as it gets um, it will be very hard for you to um, score really well in Google or go to anywhere uh, first, anywhere near a first page with with such a general meta title. So make sure to have very specific, very enticing meta title to give people reason to click because um, this meta title is the Google snippet visible on the search results pages, and also uh, it helps Google to um, um, to categorize your website. Also, luxury apparel and accessories, um, women's luxury apparel and accessories, it's too general, you sell clothing, so, uh, and, uh, so not really accessories, I didn't see any accessories, and apparel is too, um, too wide, uh, too general, so maybe clothing, boutique, something like that. Um, your hate tags definitely do need, it need attention, but because you haven't got enough content, written content, means you haven't used any hate tags. The hate tags I mentioned are explained in this short video here. In this video tutorial, you can find on our website www.rockpapercopy.com. And what else? New shop dresses. The content analysis actually is not bad because you include the keywords that you want to rank for, which is dresses, shop, new. Okay, it's too general, but it's still okay. And otherwise than that, it's um, yeah, it's fine. Uh, you know uh, what elements you need to work on. So hopefully you found this um, this critique useful. If you liked it, please click like under this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you would like to uh, request a review of your own website, please go to um, our um, our site www.rockpapercopy.com and under services, click on critiques and you can order your own website review online for only 50 US dollars and you can then uh, pick text or video. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.